Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is part 11 of my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. I forgot a couple things in the previous video about the multicam feature that I really wanted to show you. These are very important things that have to do with performance and actually cutting from camera to camera much quicker. So as you can see in each of these scene panes, we're actually rendering the full resolution video scene. That's going to be a problem on lower end computers. So we have to remember to utilize the proxy feature that lets us actually reduce the size and resolution of each of these scenes so that the computer won't be slowed down to a crawl. The way we do that is we're going to select each scene individually and we're going to go down to properties and we're going to select the proxy timecode option and just select 25%. We don't need the others. And we're going to go to strip and rebuild proxy and timecode indices. This will be very quick. And we're going to do the other video stream. Go to properties and go to proxy timecode and 25% should be selected. Go to strip, rebuild proxy and timecode indices. Okay. Now we just have to change each of these to their proxies. And the way that we do that is we go to View, Properties, and Render Size, 25%. You see that that got much lower resolution. And we're going to pull this aside and make it disappear. We're going to go to Properties again, Render Size, 25%. And I noticed that I can't switch this one to 25% until I actually select the first camera. So I'm going to go and select the multi-cam strip and go to frame one and I'm going to select camera four so that's showing over here you can see that this one looks higher res resolution than this one does so I'm going to actually go to view now and properties and render scene and set that one to 25 percent and it will automatically work for the other stream as well so you don't have to change anything after this so let's pull that aside so we're ready to go now. Th these actually should be low enough resolution that they shouldn't actually slow down your computer. Now the best thing about actually turning those down is that now we can actually hit the play button and we can use the shortcut keys. Instead of actually clicking on these buttons with our mouse, we can actually just click on the number one and the number four just by holding our mouse over this sequencer and hitting those numbers as we play it. So what you're going to want to do is we already know that we're, we want to start on cam 4, so that's good to go there and it's already showing up. Uh, I do want to switch it at about this point, right when I start seeing myself, but I'm going to do this in real time so you can see how this works. I'm just, I'm not going to be clicking that with my mouse, I'm going to be clicking the 1 and 4 button on my keyboard just to show you how fast you can actually switch. So let's hit the play button and we're starting on 4 so one will be my next cut, and here we go. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but I actually have a brother. Uh, why don't I just uh, let him introduce himself to you? Hey, my name's Robbie. I was born in Boston. Boston, Mass. That's right. Not right. Yeah, it's my brother over here. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was raised by. Uh, why are you making things up? Mom. This is, you know, this is ridiculous. Why are you so, making things up? Uh, really? this is, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you make things up. Let me finish what I'm trying to say here. You shut up for a second, okay? Thanks. So, please. There you go. So, I think that should be all you really need to know about the multicam for now.